just got to be a way to help her. I mean, Kate's got to understand that it, it wasn't her fault. If she needs anything, just let me know, okay? Thanks. Uh, well, that's Kate. She, I mean, uh, Kate's having a hard time because she's away from Crimson. And... Don't bother. I already know Kate tried to kill Anthony Zakara. Kate had nothing to do with the accident. Uh, I know it's going to be hard for you to understand, but it was Connie. You believe Kate has a split personality? I didn't want to at first, because uh, it was too convenient. It was a way for her to get out of, you know, sleeping with Johnny. You think? But then when I saw... When I saw Connie, I gotta tell you, she's absolutely real. And Kate has no control over her whatsoever. When did this happen? I went to the PCPD to check on Kate. Alexis had, you know, arranged for her to see a psychiatrist. I walked in, she's... Standing behind a two-way mirror, she's talking to her reflection, but it seemed like she was talking to another person, having some kind of argument. I can I can only hear half of it. Then she starts getting upset, demanding answers, and then she co collapsed and she broke down. So I ran in there, and I said, "Kate, I'm here. It's okay." She looked up at me, and it wasn't Kate. Are you sure? It was like, like another, you know, I mean, Connie's like somebody who talks like she's from benching her. She, she talks loud and harsh and she can't stand me. She made that very clear. And then she bragged about shooting Anthony's tires and causing the accident like she was proud of it. Proud about killing a child? <sighs> she was out of control. And uh, I held her tight. And then Kate came back to me. Well, how was Kate? She was fragile, confused. She didn't even realize that I was, that I was there. And then she kept a a asking me to tell her what Connie said. Did you tell her? Well, I wanted to stall because I didn't know how she was going to react, but she kept asking me, so I had to be honest. Oh, God. And when she found out that she had killed, you know, the little girl and her father, she had to total breakdown. I mean, if Kate is sick and it sounds like she is, I just, I, I can't imagine what she's going through right now. It destroyed her. She's drowning in her gut. <sighs> Alexis called the judge to send her Shady Brook. Well, can they help her? I don't know. I hope so. to be so difficult for you. Well, you know what? Um, I struggle with bipolar every day, and I know what it's like to, to, you know, not being in control of your life, so how can I blame Kate for anything? I'm sorry. Hey, I am so sorry. I didn't tell you the best part. What? It was my fault. Okay. If you accept that Kate is mentally mm -hmm. ill and Connie is a different person, then what she did is on her. Not on Kate and definitely not on you. Connie existed to keep me away from Kate. That's why she caused the accident. That's why she shot out the tires and planted the gun. She wanted to send me away for murder. When that didn't work, that's why she set me up to walk in on her and Johnny and I bought it i bought that lie like you know i just how, I was how like, would I, you know otherwise son connie's only purpose was to destroy me and kate it's what she's good at she destroyed me and johnny in the process i tell you right now johnny should have never gone along with connie's plan but if it hadn't been him she'd have found somebody else because her whole, uh, you know, plan was to convince me that Kate was unfaithful. Sounds like you're letting Johnny off the hook for sleeping with No way him. in hell. But I have to admit, he did come here. Yes, you came yesterday to uh, tell me Kate was innocent. He did? Yeah. He came here yesterday and he, he said Kate, Connie, came to him and he shouldn't have slept with her. But... Kate didn't know what was going on, 
him not to blame her. Why did he do that? I don't know, Why Carly. Kate? I mean, maybe, maybe he feels a little guilty for using Kate and hurting you. Is that what he said? He said that he he lost you and he'll do anything to get you back. Even tell me the truth. Now I got I got to I got to admit that I believe that Johnny was the one who tried to kill Anthony and frame me. And I was wrong. You got something on your mind? Johnny swears that sleeping with Kate was just a one-time thing. Just to hurt you, and he says he's going to spend the rest of his life making it up to me. You believe him? I'm starting to. You going to forgive him? What about you? I mean, you said Kate and Connie are, are two different people. Can you get past what happened with Johnny? Very hard to get past seeing your girl in bed with someone. Yeah, I remember. I Yeah. But you know what? She's mentally ill. I mean, I'm not a hypocrite. I'm... She didn't know what she was doing, that maybe there's nothing to forgive. God, what's going to happen to Kate? She's going to get help. She's going to get treatment. What about this deal with Todd? If I don't get Michael to back off his story about Star, then Manning's going to go public with his story about Kate, which means everyone's going to know that that little girl died because of her. What are you going to do? I don't know. What are you going to do about Johnny? I don't know either.